Ladies and gentlemen, to honor America with the singing of America the Beautiful, please welcome the man and his soul, Mr. Ray Charles. Sing these words. Oh, beautiful, wild, spacious sky. Save me from the hood, from the sea to shiny 
And we are live, or at least we were live. This is a recorded show after the Tuesday Night Live show on the 11th of July, 2023, because my internet sucks and we had a lot of skips inside there. Because I want to get this right, I want for you guys, I'm doing a uh, recorded show after the fact with all the information that we did on the Tuesday Night Live. Now, this is a special show because last Tuesday was the 4th of July, our nation's Independence Day. And uh, I wanted to do this show, but decided that day wasn't the best because we were all with our families enjoying the festivities. And I figured, why not wait till today? And so, you can see from the title below, it's a story of our nation. It is the story of how our nation became independent. It is the story of Independence Day. Uh, there's a lot of historical facts in here that you may have heard before, and a lot of historical facts that you may not have heard before. Uh, it should be interesting, and it should be educational. Not only for you, but for your kids. And so if you have kids, I highly recommend they see this video to get the actual history of how Independence Day became to be. So without further ado, here's the story of our nation's Independence Day. Fourth of July, Independence Day. Independence Day on the 4th of July is a national holiday in the United States of America that commemorates and celebrates the Declaration of Independence. In the 17th and 18th centuries, 13 British colonies were founded on the east coast of North America. They were part of a British Empire in the early 1700s, were under the rule of King George III, the King of England. The 13 colonies were Connecticut, Delaware, Georgia, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, and Virginia. In 1765, the British Parliament passed the Stamp Act. The colonists had to pay lots of tax to King George III. The colonists felt that they were paying too much tax. They also had no vote or representation in the British Parliament and wanted a greater say in how they were governed. The colonists used the slogan, no taxation without representation, and there was a public burning of the Stamp Act in Boston. Parliament ignored the protest and introduced even more taxes in the Tea Act, in which the colonists had to pay heavy taxes on tea. A protest took place in Boston Harbor on the 16th of December of 1773. The protesters boarded the ships of the East India Company and threw the tea chests into the sea. It became known as the Boston Tea Party. After the Boston Tea Party, the British Parliament passed a number of laws known as the Coercive Acts to punish the colonists. The acts took away Massachusetts' self-government and other rights. The colonists called them the Intolerable Acts. Colonies were urged to unite against British rule. Join or die was a slogan created by Benjamin Franklin. It appeared in the Boston Journal on the 7th of July, 1774. In 1774, the colonists decided to set up a meeting of a group of representatives from the 13 colonies, which they called the Continental Congress. They met at Carpenter's Hall in Philadelphia to, to decide what to do. At first, most of the colonists did not want to break away from Great Britain, but they wanted the King and Parliament to be fairer 
the colonists organized a boycott of import of British goods. On the 5th of July, 1775, Congress sent a document called the Olive Branch Petition to King George III to see if they could avoid going to war. In the petition, the colonists asked that they be given either free trade and taxes equal to those of the people of Great Britain, or no tax and a strict trade regulations. King George refused to read the Olive Branch Petition and declared the colonists traitors. The American Revolution began. All the king's officials were expelled from the colonies. Congress raised an army to fight the British and George Washington was made Commander-in-Chief. In 1775, the war began between Britain and the United States. It was known as the American Revolutionary War or the American War of Independence. On the 11th of June, 1776, Congress set up a committee of five people. John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, Robert Livingston, and Roger Sherman. They were asked to prepare a document declaring the United States independent from British rule. This became known as the Declaration of Independence. On the 4th of July of 1776, the Declaration of Independence was approved by Congress. The 13 American colonies were declared a new nation, the United States of America, and were no longer part of the British Empire. On the 14th of June of 1777, Congress passed the Flag Act. The act said that the United States of America should have a new flag made up of 13 white stars on, on a blue box on a background of 13 red and white stripes. The 13 stars and 13 stripes represented original 13 colonies with the stars arranged in a circle. France, Spain, the Netherlands and Canada joined the United States in the war against Britain. Many battles took place in which the British were forced to surrender. The war lasted for eight years from 1775 to 1783. After many battles and lots of bloodshed, the war eventually ended in 1783 with the signing of a peace treaty in Paris. In 1789, George Washington became the first president of the United States and served until 1797. He came to be known as the father of the country. The Statue of Liberty on Liberty Island in New York, designed by French sculptor Frederick Auguste Bartholi and built by Gustave Eiffel, was a gift from France to the United States. The statue was dedicated on the 28th of October of 1886. Since the colonies became independent of Britain, celebrations have taken place in the United States on the 4th of July to commemorate their independence. Early celebrations include music and parades. President Thomas Jefferson held the first 4th of July event at the People's House in 1801. Parades and firework displays continue to take place at the White House each year. Here, Independence Day celebrations are taking place in the center square of Philadelphia in July of 1819. On the eve of the 4th of July, bonfires of barrels of caskets were lit. The highest were 40 barrels high in Salem, Massachusetts. This custom flourished in the 19th and 20th centuries and is still practiced in some New England towns. Today, Independence Day is still marked by patriotic displays and parades. The 
Fourth of July parade in Bristol, Rhode Island is the oldest continuous Independence Day celebration in the United States. It began in 1785. Major fireworks display take place in New York City, in Chicago on Lake Michigan, in San Diego, in Boston on the Charles River, in St. Louis on the Mississippi River, in San Francisco over the San Francisco Bay, and on the National Mall of Washington, D.C. Today, the American flag has 50 stars to represent the 50 states of America. On the 4th of July, bells across America ring out 13 times to celebrate Independence Day. The famous Liberty Bell, previously called the State House Bell or Old State House Bell, is a symbol of American independence and is located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. On the 4th of July, a gun salute also takes place at noon. It is called the Salute of the Union. One gun is fired for each of the original 13 states. Red, white, and blue flags and decorations are seen everywhere. On the 4th of July, families and friends get together and celebrate with picnics and barbecues. The most commonly eaten food on Independence Day is the hot dog. Americans eat 150 million hot dogs each year on the 4th of July. It is thought that the tradition of eating hot dogs on Independence Day was inspired by the hot dog eating contests. Every Independence Day, Nathan's Hot Dog Company hosts an eating contest on Coney Island in Brooklyn, New York. Hopefully, you will now understand why Independence Day is such a special celebration in the United States of America. And that, my friends, is the story of our independence. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it uh, brought some history out that you recall and maybe have brought some history out that you did not recall. Our nation's uh, Independence Day was not done overnight. It took several years to become an independent nation from Great Britain. And so... Uh, a lot of lives were sacrificed in the Revolutionary War to make us independent and free from the tyranny of taxes and uh, rules that don't apply to us. Um, at least from, from that, that, uh, that point in 1776. And so, with that, uh, my wife and I we like to do some trivia games. Every once in a while, if we're just bored and don't have anything to do, we'll put on YouTube and we'll put on trivia questions and kind of compete against each other to see who gets the answers right and who's smarter and who's not and, you know, bragging rights and all that jazz. So what better way to celebrate our Independence Day than to have a trivia challenge? Uh, we're going to have a quiz that I'm going to show you guys here shortly. But before I show you the quiz, I'm going to go over the rules of this trivia challenge, this contest for a prize. And so, here are the rules. You're going to watch tonight's live show. You're going to listen to the story of our nation, uh, our Independence Day. And then from that, you're going to extract the answers to the quiz that's that's going to be following here shortly uh, or if you paid attention or already know the answers to these questions you can go ahead and put them down as your answers so I have a patreon page the link is below click on that there's an answer sheet if more than one person in your household wants to submit uh, for this contest uh, you could print that answer sheet out or send a separate email for that person and uh, become a part of the contest. And so you can either use the quiz answer sheet attached in the Patreon page or you can just email me with the correct answers in the email in the text section of that email. And I'm going to put up my uh, email address, Breakaway Homesteader at gmail.com that's breakawayhomesteader at gmail.com so you're going to create a email 
You're going to title that email AMERICA in all caps. In the email, you'll send the correct answers to the quiz. In order, please. Then send that email to my email address. Be sure to add your name to the bottom of the email. Don't worry, I'm not going to uh, spell out your whole last name when we announce the winner. All submissions will be collected until Monday of next week. That's the 17th of July, 2023. At 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the submissions will stop. And then we will grade all the submissions. And either the person with the most answers right, or if there are more than one, one person with the most answers right, uh, we will do a random drawing on next Tuesday's Tuesday Night Live show. And we'll do that live and reward... Uh, the one prize winner with a special prize. So what is the winner going to get? The winner will be awarded a Mr. Root Beer Brewing Kit. With a Mr. Root Beer Brewing Kit, you'll make two gallons of great tasting root beer in as few as three days. The kit produces a very traditional, old-fashioned tasting root beer that will be a hit with adults and children alike. Now, this is home brewed root beer. Now, original root beer that was home brewed had a slight amount of alcohol in it. Nothing, nothing too great, but uh, in the natural carbonation process, just a little tiny bit of alcohol was left in it. But it'll evaporate off and it'll be good root beer. But that's the grand prize. That's the, the, the prize that the winner will get. And that winner will be randomly picked live next week on the Tuesday Night Live show. So even if you don't win, nobody's a loser. Uh, head on over to my Patreon page. I've got a bunch of uh, puzzles uh, attached to that link. Uh, celebrating the 4th of July Independence Day. Feel free to download those and... and uh, and see, test your grit in crosswords, in word seeks, and in anagrams. So the next step for this Tuesday Night Live is to go ahead and give the quiz. And without further ado, here's the quiz for our Independence Day Trivia Challenge. Fourth of July Independence Day Quiz. On what day is Independence Day in the United States of America? Which king was the British colonies on the east coast of North America under the rule of? How many American colonies were a part of the British Empire? Name one of the 13 colonies. What was the name of the act that the British Parliament passed which levied heavy taxes on the colonists? Why were the colonists unhappy about this act? What else were the colonists unhappy about? What did the colonists do after the introduction of the Tea Act? What did the event become known as? After the Boston Tea Party, the British Parliament passed a number of acts to punish the colonists. What were they called? What did the colonists call these acts? Which colony had its self-government rights taken away? What was the slogan created by Benjamin Franklin? What was the name of the petition Congress sent to King George III to see if they could avoid going to war? What did King George III do with the petition? The colonists wanted their independence. They set up an army. Who was the commander-in-chief of the army? In what year did American War 
for independence begin? Who were tasked with drawing up the Declaration of Independence? On what date was the Declaration of Independence approved? Which act did Congress pass on 14th of June, 1777? Name one other country that joined the United States in the war against Britain. How many years did the war last for? When did the war end? Who became the first President of the United States of America? Which country gave the Statue of Liberty to the United States of America as a gift? Who built the Statue of Liberty? Where is the Statue of Liberty? Where does the oldest continuous Independence Day celebration in the United States take place? What is the national anthem of the United States of America? Which president held the first 4th of July celebrations at the People's House? What special event takes place at noon on Independence Day? How many stars are in the American flag today? How many stripes are on the American flag? What do the stripes on the American flag represent? What do the stars on the American flag represent? How many times did the Liberty Bell ring on Independence Day? And lastly, what is the most commonly eaten food on the 4th of July? And that's it. Those are the trivia questions uh, for you to write down or just answer on the email and send to me at breakawayhomesteader at gmail.com and submit those before Monday of next week. You have all week to submit them. So share this video with your friends and kids if you want so they can learn more about Independence Day and possibly win a really good prize. And with that being said, we're going to sign off this Tuesday Night Live and let you guys get at it. I hope you all had a great Independence Day and I hope you all are a little bit smarter about our nation's history. We'll see you next Tuesday. Good night. Oh, and you see by the dawn's early light Oh, so proudly we hailed At the twilight that's gleaming Whose broad stride and bright stars through the perilous fire all oh, the ramparts we walked were so gallant